Okay, so I'm going to be explaining level 1 and 2 now. So we have level 1. We have, there are 15 students. It starts on June 1st. And we have June 2nd. They stand in one long row. And they stand in 15, students stand 15 in each row. And then one long row. And the same group on June 3rd and June 4th and so on, all the way to June 12th. So June 1st through 12th is a total of 12 days. And so for 12 of the days, there was a, there was like, it was possible to divide the number of students, which is X, by uh, a number. That's the divisor of X. So we see that there are 12 divisors because on the 13th day, they couldn't find any more. So there are a total of 12 divisors and that's here. And so for 12 divisors, we can split it into these ways. So 12 is two times two times three, four times three, two times six or one times 12. That's the most you can do it. You can't put four because two and three are prime numbers. So we take all four of these and we take the smallest amount possible from all four of these cases. For this one, the largest one, which is this one, is, is we put that plug in two to that because two is the smallest. And same for this one, this one, and this one, we plug in two for the largest ones, and for the other ones, we just plug in three. And so we take this one, this one is 60, this one is 72, this one is 96, and this one is more than a thousand, so it's definitely wrong. And so our smallest one is two squared times three times five equals 60. Level two. So we have three runners are running simultaneously, and they start from the same point. And it's a five hundred meter circular track. So they each run clockwise around the course, which means they don't like go in, the two of them don't go in this direction. No two of them go this direction. So, well, opposite directions. So they have that they have a speed of 4.4, 4.8, and 5.0. So we say that the total time that they ran is T, and so we say the difference in the distances that they run in total is 0.2 T, which and that the 0.2 comes from 5 minus 4.8, 0.4 T that comes from 4.8 minus 4.4, and 0.6 T and the 0.6 comes from 5 minus 4.4, and so. We have, so we have that they all meet at the same location. And so to meet at the same location, they need to all run like a lap. They all need to meet at, at when they run a lap. So the, the they have to have a multiple of 500. And so we, we take the smallest one. So we have that this is 500. And because this is 500, we have this is 1,000, and this is 1,500. Well, and so we have this one is 5 times 500 is 2,500, which is that. So that's the answer for a level 2.